Defence IQ is back once again at Millbrook Proving Ground, this time getting exclusive access to see the armoured vehicles being manufactured and tested by the street group. Hi, uh, my name is German. Uh, I am CEO of Straight Group. Uh, this company is uh, specialized in the uh, manufacturing of uh, commercial armored vehicles and military vehicles. Uh, our group contains uh, seven production factories and around 15 offices around the globe. Uh, you can see vehicle approaching us. It's called Spartan. It's been based in a Ford F550 platform. It's done to level B6. Uh, it's got uh, excellent off-road capability. Uh, it's got 6.7 uh, engine with 425 horsepower. Uh, it's uh, used by special police force, uh, special ops, and SWAT teams. This is another product uh, from Straight. Uh, this vehicle called Cobra is actually using Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series chassis. Uh, we put our new body on top of that chassis. Uh, this vehicle mainly uh, not for off-road, but it's still pretty good. As you can see in this uh, facility, we are trying this vehicle up to the limit. Stanak 4, that's already kind of old. Uh, there's a draft uh, coming soon for Stanak 5 and Stanak 6. And that will be more uh, on the side blast. Them on the underbody and uh, under wheel protection. Uh, but with existing threat and threat coming seems to be Stanek 4, it will be just below the standard. So we need to work on a higher level of protection and uh, Stanek 4, that's minimum what we will uh, do in the next year. Um, but the new standard coming up, so we'll see if Stanek 5 or Stanek 6 will be available and we have to retest our vehicles for that standard. Approaching vehicle is called Typhoon. It's been designed by Straight. Uh, this vehicle is a mine resistant ambush vehicle. Uh, it's done with V-hole monocoque design. Uh, we're using Cummins engine with Alistair transmission. This particular vehicle has got 300 horsepower. Uh, excellent ground clearance. It's got 97 centimeter of ground clearance. Absolutely gorgeous uh, off-road capability. Uh, it's got 12 people uh, crew, uh, which is um, capable to run uh, 1,200 kilometers without uh, fuel station. Another product approaching us, uh, this vehicle we named Cougar. It's built in a Toyota chassis, a pickup truck chassis, Toyota Land Cruiser. Yeah, this vehicle is designed for border patrol, um, armored personnel carrier. Uh, it's really good seller in the African region and the Middle East. Uh, this vehicle has been in the service for over 20 years. Uh, absolutely easy to maintain. There's uh, no electronic components, so the, it, it doesn't require any programming or anything, so it can go on any uh, region where there's no services. Uh, the weight of the vehicle is around 4.5 tons, uh, can carry 8 people. Uh, maximum level of protection is Tanak 1. This is for uh, police and SWAT teams. Uh, this is a newer version of the Spartan, you just seen it. Uh, every year we upgrade our uh, existing models with the new features, new designs, new uh, development, and that's just a good example of that. Uh, this one's got open turret versus to previous model with the closed turret. Uh, several extra hatches and uh, different seating arrangements. And it's also upgraded for the blast protection at this particular stage. For us, every market is important. Um, we're getting well established in Africa and Middle East. Um, as I mentioned already, we stepping in the European market and we'll see how it goes. Uh, the Asia, that's going to come quite a bit soon. India is a large market, you know. I expect next two years will be close to 50 to 60 percent of the overall uh, worldwide market. Uh, it's a little bit slow at this moment, uh, massive potentials. Uh, right now, our concentration would be still in Africa and uh, Middle East, of course, but Europe, that's something we're approaching, and uh, there's lots of things to learn. Uh, it's even model, um, model level here, so, uh, different standards. You got different emissions here, different uh, road conditions and so on. 
uh, that's going to be really challenging for us in the next couple of years.